Last time on Introvert Reality, I found out that Ryan was challenged by these two shady guys into a game of horse and basketball to see who would win over Riley. You know, I got a feeling that the connection between Ryan and Riley is a lot more stronger than we think it is. Does Riley like Ryan back? We'll find out on this episode. My name is Mason, and I'm just your typical high school student with a quirky attitude. You know, life really likes to have its ups and downs at times, and I'm there to help people whenever they need help the most. So follow me as I help Ryan and some of my other friends along the adventures of introvert reality. Today's episode, The Road to Riley Part 4. Um, why the hell are we out this late on a school night? Dude, I told you this. Taco Bell's having a brand new Mountain Dew flavored burrito coming out at midnight. Oh shit, I forgot that's tonight. I can't wait to take that burrito and shove it down my throat. Bruh, that sounds wrong in many different ways. Speaking of shoving a burrito down my throat, Ryan talked to me earlier about Riley. Yeah, and what did he say? He told me that a couple shady dudes came up to him and challenged him to a game of basketball next Saturday. Really? Does he even know how to shoot a ball? I don't know, but I told him if he needs any help, then I'm here for him. Oh, cool. Did you tell them about the gym up the road from us? Yeah, I did, but he denied that location for some reason. Anywho, we finally made it to Taco Bell! You smell that, Eric? That, my brother, is the smell of success. Dude, that's the smell of the burrito you've been wanting to get down your throat. (sighs) Whatever. Anywho, let's get these burritos. I'm starving. (laughs) Sorry about that, sir. I apologize. Hey, watch where you're going. Psst. Um, Eric? Uh, yeah? I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling about this guy. He looks awfully shady. Yeah, and why does he sound like Batman? I don't know, but I wonder if it could be one of the guys that challenged Ryan. You know, I can hear you guys whisper, right? Oh, <laughs> we we weren't saying anything bad. <laughs> Listen, chump, I heard everything you just said. And yes, me and my friend Sonny challenged your little buddy to a game of horse. I hope you're ready to see him lose. No way I'm letting Ryan lose to a mama's boy like you. Isn't that right, Eric? Right? Ryan's gonna beat you up so bad that you'll be left with only half an HP, wishing that you'll die, because goddammit, character should've died in SAO because he's a shit character with plot armor! God, I hate that anime! Eric, now is not the time to be making terrible anime puns that make absolutely no freaking sense! I mean, half an HP? Really? Well, seriously, I really hate that anime, Mason. You know it. Anywho, I'll see you and your weak friend next Saturday at 6. I hope you're ready to see him fall. If that sunny guy is anything like Bob, I think it'd be best for me to help out Ryan no matter if he wants to help or not. That is, after we finish our Mountain Dew flavored burritos. Damn straight! Well, looks like Mason and Eric are having the time of their lives shoving down burritos at Taco Bell. Anywho, let's go to him tomorrow and check on Ryan. Man, I'm going to have to spend the next five days getting ready for this game of horse. Spending three hours a day shooting hoops. More like a game of donkey, because I'm going to suck. Yo, Ryan, what's up? Not much. I've just had a long night thinking about this whole entire game. I'm very nervous. Not going to lie, I've actually been kind of nervous about you as well. I didn't tell you this, but last night, me and Eric went to Taco Bell to go get us that burrito that was launching at midnight. And this crazy thing happened. I think we ran into one of the guys that ran into you at the park yesterday. I don't know. He seemed pretty shady. But I just have a really bad feeling about these guys. That's the case. So I'm going to help you out no matter what. Okay? Well, no matter what you do, it's not going to change anything. I'm going to lose this game. And I'm going to humiliate myself. And not only myself, but Riley. Stop saying that! The more you doubt yourself, the more you're gonna fall. I'm gonna pick you up, bro, and I am gonna help you no matter what. 
I am going to bust my tail if it's the last thing that I had to do. Because I looked at that Bob guy last night, and he looked like someone I could beat in a donut eating contest. Okay? That is saying something. Mason, are you craving donuts right now? Actually, the more I think about it, the more donuts sound really amazing. I like donuts topped with frosting and loaded with Fruit Loops. Lots and lots of Fruit Loops. First Riley, then you? What's with you guys in Fruit Loops? Well, duh. It's because Fruit Loops are, like, totally awesome. So true. <laughs> hey, Riley. How are you? Nothing much. I just heard you guys talking about Fruit Loops. Did somebody say Fruit Loops? Wait, who are you? I, uh, I'm Officer Joe Swanson. <laughs> yes, I am Officer Joe Swanson. No, you're not. Yeah, I think you got the wrong show. Oh, man, I was hoping I was on the right set. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. I was just telling Ryan here that last night me and Eric ran to Bob at Taco Bell. Man, he seems like a Batman wannabe. Oh, that guy? Yeah, you know. One of the two guys that challenged Ryan to a game of horse and basketball yesterday at the park? He told me everything, and he tried telling me that he's going to take out Ryan. Well, him and his little buddy Sonny are. And Sonny is kind of a weird name for a bully. I, I don't understand why someone would name a bully Sonny. Anywho, I told Ryan that I'm going to help him out no matter what. Yeah, me too. I'm with Ryan all the way. Like I said, it doesn't make a difference at all. I should just leave town while I have the chance. No, Ryan, come back, man. We're gonna help. Ryan, come back, please. Walking away from your problems is not gonna help anything. It's gonna make you look like a coward, and... Uh, he walked away. Really? He left the school? <sighs> yep. He's gone. Out of here. Although, I wonder where he's going. Well, wherever he goes, I hope he'll be okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty worried about him also. Of course, who am I? I worry a lot about other people as well. And something I should probably tell you, Riley, is that Ryan cares a whole lot about you. And I don't know if you take that as a good thing or a bad thing, but that's probably why he's acting the way he is. I know. <laughs> Wait, you do? Well, I'm not oblivious. So, all this time, you knew that he really likes you? Well, he was blushing like crazy in the car the other day. <laughs> That's when we thought he looked like a red tomato. His face was so red. Well, like I was saying earlier, Ryan cares about you a whole lot. In fact, I've kind of talked to him about a few things. And I was even there with him whenever the whole text messaging was going on. Yeah, I'm really glad I sent that text message to him. You sure seem like you did. It looks like you really enjoy being around him. Yeah, it was a fun day until they showed up. I think I just figured out why those bullies were bothering Ryan. And I could be wrong, but do you think they could be jealous? Jealous of what? Of Ryan being around you. They probably think that you like him or something. Of course, I could be totally wrong. Well, actually... Is there something you want to tell me, Riley? Actually, I kind of like Ryan, and I mean like, like. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So you really do like Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Riley, do you mind checking your phone real quick? Uh, okay, sure. Because I fucking called it! Really? Yes, really. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Look, as a friend, I think you two would make a great couple. And I knew this from yesterday whenever you two first hung out. I saw it in your eyes. I saw it in Ryan's eyes. I know this sounds creepy, but I am just so excited. I'm going to help you guys. Meanwhile, with Ryan. It's been a long day. It's also felt like a long time since that thing happened at the park with Sonny and Bob. Ah. <sighs> I know I'm gonna lose. I mean, I don't have the physical capabilities to beat them in basketball. I can't even dribble basketball, right? And heck, this freaking ball freaking hit me in the face again. All I can think about though is rarely, and that's the only thing that's gonna keep me going. Because I really like her. 
Yet I don't even know what to do. My failure. I just don't know. I need to find myself more. I need to find out if like I really like her. Most importantly, I need to find out if I have what it takes to stand up for someone that I really care and love. Wait a second. What's... What's that I'm hearing in my head? It sounds like someone who can kick this guy's butt for me. John C- Now I know what you're thinking, and the answer is no, we were not trying to troll you guys. That was literally the voice in his head. Anywho, well, it seems something's happened to Ryan, causing him to just walk out on his friends. Is everything going to be okay? What's going to happen with him and Riley? All that and more will be answered on the next episode of Introvert Reality.